we are checking out for the very first time a new game by the name of Guardians of the High Lord, the tug of war tactics and army spawning game that is getting ready for launch on September 29th that y'all can go ahead and check out from the link at the very tippity top of the description. And I do want to say huge thank you to Guardians of High Lord for sponsoring the video and supporting the channel as we are checking out this game that turns the idea of tower defense on its head because yes, your band of bespoke heroes must prevent an enemy horde from reaching your base, but they also get to push back and advance on the enemy too, ultimately pushing them back to their own base where a formidable boss awaits. You start with just four guardians to choose from, but as you rack up the victories, new warriors will join your cause and you'll be able to endow existing ones with powerful new abilities with each guardian having their own skill tree and unique tactical role. Successfully complete a level and you can actually upgrade your guardians with new weapons, powerful potions, and other consumables as well. You can also evolve your army to your play style too with a talent system that grants you unique permanent abilities after each successful battle that makes units more affordable or increases the impact of their attacks or various other things like that that's all presented through a gloriously vibrant art style that gets you hyped to see the very next battle arena you better brace yourself too to take on the 180 unique enemies that are going to be coming stomping your way and you will especially love the look of the bosses that await you at the end of each level which range from armored skeleton warriors to gargantuan and kind of a little bit cute pets and as you're marching through high lore, you're going to witness a deceptive amount of depth in its combat and progression and systems just throughout the course of a single battle not only do you need to get the balance right between support warrior ranged and magic units but you're also gonna have to worry about summoning more troops in during a battle do you throw everything at the enemy in a desperate final attempt to push them back from your keeper do you exercise cautious economic management hold back then regroup so you can fight another day you are the commander and these huge strategic decisions are in your hands as guardians of high lore comes to steam on the 29th of a september you go ahead and head out over to its steam page from that link at the very tippity top of the description to wishlist it and learn more or go ahead and follow the journey to launch on its official facebook and twitter pages too which will also be in the description but without further ado let's dive into some action because i have just hit level 10 over here which is kind of a big deal because this is the first time where we actually go ahead and unlock some new units so before we dive into this next battle y'all can see i've been upgrading my clerics and conjurers especially because now that i got these four crystals from a cleared out the level there are two new units that I especially want to get over here in the form of the sharpshooter who kind of has a special ability and the fencer as well whereas like kind of like the basic scout and basic warden don't have abilities also you can see some of them or some of their improved stats as well so without further ado a bada bing I'll go ahead and get the fencer and bada boom I'll go and get the sharpshooter as well but hockey dokey artichokes with those unit upgrades taken care of why don't we go ahead and back out and go and give our guardian a little bit of love to Gaston, this swift shot who we have unlocked one of each of his abilities over here at the bottom but we actually have enough points over here to go ahead and upgrade one of his abilities even further and i'm not gonna lie i am kind of tempted by the arrow blaze that let's loot a depth that let's lose a devastating blast that damages enemies in a big old line let's go and do that and then also over here you can see that i do have a few items equipped on him as well it is actually possible to go ahead and combine some of these items like for example you're gonna see here i'm gonna go ahead and combine this orb of regeneration with this ring of havoc for the cost of 100 gems boom we could go ahead and combine those beautiful things and currently at our current level we can go ahead and equip two different items and you can see all the various uh whatchamacallit all the various different abilities that grants us in that bottom left hand corner so let's go ahead and equip those that i have been uh, working upon and then back our way out because we're going shopping baby over here in the shop where we can go ahead and purchase various weapons of uh, potions but also what i've been waiting to do is for the very first time purchase and upgrade our tower and dude as you can see each of these towers does different amounts of damage have different amounts of health and all that jazz so we're just gonna go uh straight to the freaking best thing i can get and get the rock tower grade one and now you can see i got a few gems over here to spare so why don't we go ahead and get ourselves a uh, let's get ourselves like a few potions over here too that we could go ahead and utilize uh, throughout battle battle as well each of them granting like different abilities and stuff like that uh, should we choose but why don't we go ahead and go over here to weapons uh, two and oh the firestorm's on sale fire sale baby 
Let's go ahead and collect. Uh, I'll definitely go ahead and take a few of those. And then I'll save some of these gems for uh, further usage as well. Such as a boop on out of there. And I guess just for like a quick little recap, I'll head on over here to our talents page. These are all the or these are all the talents available in the game that you can get every time after you complete a stage. But these are my talents I currently have. Some of them are actually leveled up until level two, as you can see. And these are going to be helping us throughout the course of a battle. And I've already knocked out quite a few battles in advance to kind of like the second uh, stage, the second arena with various stages inside and we are still working our way up the forged veil is next but i do just want to go ahead and clear out the rest of the area that we are in and there also is for the very first time this arena i still have not gone into the arena so we're gonna be doing that for the very first time over here on a video where things are a little bit eggy. they get a little bit interesting you can read some of the rules over here on the screen right now definitely a bit of a different challenge compared to the stages that we have going on but a challenge that i'm excited to go ahead and tackle but hockey dokey with Without further ado, that's enough of that. Let's go and enter for the very first time this stage that we have uh, coming up and with it some of those upgraded warriors that i cannot wait uh, to unleash not to mention some of our existing warriors we got the new towers i re-upped on potions and weapons long story short and uh, things are oh my god yeah those towers already look freaking magnificent they're beautiful so anyways over here at the top of the screen you can see our income so right now we have our income at level one that's kind of like our economy and it is slowly generating a uh, gold uh, for us uh once this actually hits its max of 90 we can upgrade our income to have a higher cap and also generate faster so usually my strategy i like to wait for that to happen so hopefully these freaking initial kind of little little stream of units that the enemy sends our way isn't too bad you can see once you, one of your units crosses the midpoint whoever is units and kind of like the other territory actually gains a favor up at the top as you can see our opponent the red team in this classic red versus blue matchup is gaining a boop. let's just go in there and actually upgrade our income as well but with these upgraded towers i'm not even too worried about these fellas actually getting too close because uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, take them out look at that they still have not even managed to damage us i kind of want to hold on a little bit more before we go much more ham or do we maybe ah, okay maybe we should start sending some people out but before we do that let's actually go ahead and knock out some of those upgrades that i was talking about primarily for the sharpshooter and the fencer so the melee units i can oh heavy fire activate that's not good that's one of the abilities i was talking about so the fact that the uh what should i call it the enemy his units on our half of the battlefield past this flag checkpoint in the middle they are gaining that red bar up at the top and every time it fills up you gain some sort of an ability but oh check it out it's time to deploy the guardian and with it let's go and freaking get some uh what should i call support troops because this is usually my strategy this is when i like to push i like to wait for our initial kind of like a guardian uh push over here and then just surround it with a ton of different units and then we'll start getting into enemy territory but with that uh you can see the threat that we do have to worry about as well uh coming uh, soon so i don't go ahead for 50 coins we can increase our recruit limit which that means that we can go ahead and get some additional recruits definitely something that we are going to want to do there's also certain artilleries that we can buy but it's a lot more expensive and that's what i'm talking about baby that's the big old boss that is one of one of these guys we got to face every single time that we do some sort of a stage obviously it's going to be unique it's not going to be this giant freaking block of rock every time but for this stage this is the person that we do have to worry about so let's just go and freaking we ought to deploy some additional units because i am getting worried but at the very least y'all can see we have crossed the midpoint we are gaining points and our blue bar is actually about to fill up we are going to get our very first ability here we can activate a random favor fully heal all normal units or your units become invulnerable uh let's go with invulnerability and hopefully that will allow our units to survive for these next eight seconds a little bit better and it just continue chipping away at this block and do chip chip away at it turn into like a freaking ancient robot Roman statue it doesn't need to be a cube let's make it beautiful baby but all right we're gonna continue uh stockpiling on coins over here i do want to before we go much further i kind of want to lure the boss into our territory so i'm kind of gonna what oh there you go i was gonna, i was gonna say i want to save up some gold i want to save up some coin you know so we can have upgraded our in in you know in company no economy i was trying to freaking combine those two words oh we got a new favor send beams of light to heal send oh yeah i'll send the freaking heavenly swords that will do a ton of damage to the various enemies that they were deployed i'll take that our guy over here is getting a little bit dinked up with damage but not gonna lie not doing too bad we maybe we go and uh, okay I'll i don't know because every time watch mccall our guardian does get deployed in a bit of a different fashion so every time that our guardian dies we don't buy it back with coins we actually have to wait for like this cooldown uh, to come through and okay check it out we're gonna be buying the trapper 
Catapult. And this person, luckily, yes, 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 our Guardian's starting to get healed by those freaking clerics that I sent through. We got our freaking heavy artillery coming into support from behind. I'm sending in more clerics, man. I want to keep that person alive. Uh, release a Guardian from cooldown. Oh, let's increase the health. And yes, beautiful. That ability right there increases our Guardian's health and damage by 35% for 25 seconds. That is huge because it's literally like leading the charge right now. And we needed to take out that freaking block right there. You will not conquer me today, Mr. Block. No, no, no. Because with just a little bit more damage, see you later, alligator. The biggest enemy we had to worry about is taking it down. And let's just go ahead and start deploying some additional troops. I'm not going to lie. We're going to drop 80 coins over here in the bottom right-hand corner. Boom. Increase our recruit limit. And uh, let's just go ahead and deploy a few more melee fellers. Usually the balance I like to have is I like to have about like somewhere around like one cleric for every one other unit so the clerics can kind of focus on healing because they are a support unit and i've also upgraded them five different times in the main menu uh what's my call let's uh, uh let's do this mighty arrow barrage unleash 25 fire arrows from your towers to damage enemies for 20 percent of the health oh mighty arrow barrage activate where, where are the arrows man oh let's upgrade our economy too our freaking oh Oh, there you go. I see the fire arrows coming in. Oh, and check that out. An item that the, what should I call? Usually the boss drops an item. We just got the urn of piercing will. I'll take that. I'll go ahead and continue upgrading our recruit limit there. And let's just go and summon in a few conjurers, man. I have not been giving the conjurers the love that they need. I've upgraded these peeps freaking five times. They have the wailing winds ability, as you can see over there in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. We just got ourselves a new favor as well. Let's, uh, YOLO. Let's increase the damage, health, and armor of all of our units and do a freaking number over here and... Y'all are seeing just this overwhelming wave of power brought upon by my armies. The health of the enemy towers is withering like a freaking flower in the middle of a desert. And guess what, baby? These times of war ain't changing. Victory is ours. Let's go, baby. They never stood a shot with General Star Snipe at the helm. Mwah. And we got the five star. Oh, dude, look at that. That, uh, that, that right there. I don't think that's an A+. Plus. I don't know. I haven't gotten a grade on an assignment in uh, quite a long time. I graduated college, what, like a year, two years ago? I forget at this point. But 96, that's pretty good. If that's not an A+, plus, it's definitely an A. I'll take it. We go ahead and get some rewards. We get some guardian tokens and unit tokens, which we can then go ahead and utilize. And this is what I was talking about here, where we could go ahead and upgrade something as well. So we can either, for this talent, reduce the first cooldown of all guardians by 12 seconds. I'm pretty good at keeping my guardian alive, so that'll be a pass for me. Your targets have a 15% chance to shoot twice in succession. Eh, I, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like increasing our archer units, especially now that we have even better archer units to upgrade so let's go baby over here on the guardian side of things uh we are not going to be able to upgrade our guardian because we only have three of these tokens whereas we need four to upgrade our chain snap or focused assault abilities i could go ahead and switch it up and actually go to like a different type of guardian should i choose but i am a big fan of the freaking archer guardian and like as you can see i mean there are some freaking cool ones up in here too various stats and all that jazz but for now i will stick with my arch arch i've been loyal and i'm a loyal person what can i say oh oh and hold up hold up hold up why don't we go over here uh to the favor gauntlet right or let's go to the orb of regeneration let's combine that over here with this new urn of piercing will that we got oh no i can't combine two relics never mind jk jk so because these things are relics i believe all of them actually we are not going to be able to combine them so instead we're going to hold on to this when we get level 14 we should be able to equip a third item onto our uh which we call fellow over here and then every six normal attack ignores enemy armor so that seems like it's going to be handy for show for show but all right over here on the unit side of things uh i'm going to upgrade the fencer i'm not going to lie i like having the warrior unit let's go and upgrade y'all can y'all can see some of the stats that are going to be going up boom let's go and do exactly that and marvelous and then once we hit level 15 we unlock the zealot and spell weaver at 20 we'll unlock all what you might call the third tier of some of these like it just things are just going to keep on going on the up and up but the only way we can go up is if we go forward and tackle more of our enemies but this time we're going to be tackling them for the very first time inside of the depths of the arena and i'm gonna see what this is all about hopefully i can last hopefully i can do well and ladies and gentlemen boys and girls wish me luck i have no idea how this is going to go man it's definitely going to be different from what we are used to but i think all of our challenges trials and tribulations have prepared us uh, for this moment over here we have wave one and yet they're just freaking getting flung out at us we uh what should we call we can't use any of the items inside of our inventory unfortunately but every time we take someone down we can go in and summon someone new uh but we are already freaking losing some troops luckily our guardian's going kind of ham over here but i want to save some freaking gold 
And I want to, I think, upgrade our freaking uh, warrior first and foremost. Boom. And then I'm going to deploy uh, some of these with their heavy strike ability. Uh, but we are already down to freaking two units plus our guardian. Our guardian is freaking, oh no, we got a big fellow over here that we got to worry about. Hopefully we can take down one of these so I can deploy this freaking uh, stronger melee unit before things get out of hand. Boom, there he goes. Deploy it. Let's deploy a cleric so that could go ahead and start healing up some of our comrades over here. And wow, okay. Well, I'm getting absolutely shrecked inside of the arena. Things are not going good. Maybe I should have deployed more things earlier. This is not going well. I did not sign up for this. Even though I definitely did sign up for this, I did not sign up for this. All right. You know what? Um, I served. I, I lasted a minute. I lasted over a minute in other avenues of life. That's a pretty big accomplishment. So I will take it and uh, let's give it another go. This time, I will definitely just try to deploy more units more quickly. Primarily the ones that I've upgraded a ton. So I'm going to summon up some conjurers. I, I want to get some more clerics up. Y'all can see that we have two of each unit deployed at the moment. I'm just going to try to freaking poop out clerics as soon as possible. Because they're going to be able to heal our other units. Which I feel like is kind of going to be the biggest deal. Uh, because I don't know, just like if, if units die, man. If any of our voyas, archers, conjurers, anything like that do perish... It's not going to be a good look, you know? So I'm just going to absolutely poop out as many clerics as possible. And hopefully they will be able to help us. At, I, at least let me get past the first wave, fam. I'll take a one wave. Just please give me something to brag about here. <laughs> now, unfortunately, it doesn't feel like our clerics are kind of dropping like flies. Are. Both of our scouts are down now, too. But again, I'm just going to continue pooping out as many clerics as I possibly can. I need that. It, it seems to be working. We got past the first wave, baby. Let's go. I'm going to get up a few conjurers over here, too. Because again... I did not invest any upgrades into the Warden or the Scalp, but my Clerics and Conjurers are pretty freaking juiced. And speaking of that, I need to go ahead and juice their numbers because, uh, yeah, we are down to three Clerics and one Conjurer. Okay, well, luckily, I don't know. If I got a lot of Clerics, maybe they can keep our one giant tanky Guardian alive. That's kind of the tactics I'm going for here. YOLO, let's freaking send it. Although we are now down to three Clerics. This is not going well. It is going better than last time but i would not go as far to say that it's going well quite yet because our freaking guardian is so close to dying oh no dude come on we gotta get some more clerics out but then i feel like the clerics they don't help do too much damage really they're not too damage centric i don't know there's a lot of things to worry about there's a lot of units coming our way my hopes are not too high this would have been a prime time to use a freaking fire bomb or something like that but i don't think we're gonna have that opportunity and i do believe sadly that well yeah, our Guardian's down. We're not going to be able to last another 83 seconds. I, I think we maybe go to the arena next time we uh, have some more unit upgrades. So I'll be honest with you. I'll take that, though. I'll take, I'll take it, man. I will take a wave cleared. That is a freaking medal. That is a sign of honor. I can hang on my chest. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go back to conquering some land. I am much better at that part so far. <laughs> Dude, that's a reality check, man. I'm coming in here, like, feeling all good about myself. Like, yeah, I'm pretty good at the game. And then the arena just freaking smacks me upside the head. But at least we got that first wave. I will take that. And I will take out the smile, reluctant smile on my face, and go and conquer an upcoming land. Yeah, yeah, let's freaking do it. And we are pretty close to getting a level 12, too, over there at the top left-hand corner. Y'all can see that experience bar. Uh, and uh, 36 out of 175 potential stars. So we are doing pretty good in that respect as well. But uh, you know what? You know what we could do, actually, if we want? Since, uh, or no, not yet. We've conquered five and then three. So we cannot complete or we cannot unlock the forge veil until we complete the 10 levels prior to it and we are currently at one two three four five six seven eight if i can count right big if so let's just go and continue uh trucking our way forward with some of our freshly upgraded units and this time i'll try and showcase the potions and weapons and stuff i was talking about because i did not get the chance to give those too much love and i guess i can talk a little bit more also about some of the other artillery i like using as you can see in the bottom right hand corner the thrapper catapult which ascends a volley of rocks towards enemies in rapid succession but there's also the spiked catapult which i guess we could try to save up for we need a lot of economy though it costs 350 uh, there's the bomber elf which plants mines throughout the freaking arena that's kind of cool and then just a basic catapult that is pretty good at doing high damage at two towers and over here, summon a hail of comets from the sky. Each comet deals 55 damage to enemies. That's going to be pretty good, that firestorm. But I'm going to wait until there's a big group of enemies for us to use that on. And our potion, kind of like on the support side of things, can heal units for up to 55% of their max health. Once things start getting carried away, that will not be a bad investment. And we should be able to go ahead and upgrade our economy for the very first time 
not too shortly here. Beautiful. And then hopefully I can go and get someone out. Actually, we should be able to destroy this fella. Oh, come on, destroy him. No, he did some damage to my tower. I was, I, I wanted to feel like I was going for a perfect run. Let's upgrade the scout over here. I know we've suffered a tiny bit of damage to our towers, but that's all right. You know, it's a necessary sacrifice. It's also given our guardian here a little bit of time, a bit of an opportunity uh, to ready up before we just kind of go into the thick of it. Let's get our tier two freaking fencer up into here. And then, uh, whatchamacallit, we'll get another one. And then let's start deploying some clerics behind for a little bit of support and also cash in the swift shot as well. You bloody love to see that. And I'll go in and get some conjurers up out and out of there as well. Uh, and now we got to wait till we get to 50 coins to increase our unit cap from five to eight. Beautiful. And with that, I'll take out another conjurer and probably I'll, uh, I'll upgrade the warden here in a second and try to get some of those. I'll get another cleric out first and then I'm going to upgrade the warden. The freaking big, big bad boss is going to be coming to uh, freaking just take a poop in my freaking morning Cheerios that I was so excited to, you know, start my day with. But the big bad boss is going to be like, no, nope, no, no Cheerios for you. Which is rather rude. Oh my god, look at it! That thing, is that a, That is the most terrifying sheep I've ever witnessed in my life! Is that a sheep? Is that a boar? I don't know! But it's surprisingly cute too! Alright, uh, let's freaking get some fencers out here. We're gonna need some support. We're taking some damage. Prime time to activate the firestorm and rain heck upon them! Oh, that's beautiful. And then once we start taking a little bit too much damage, I'll go in and deploy that elixir of vitality. And, uh, actually, dude, uh, yeah, you know what? Mm, okay, we are, okay, hold up. Uh, Spellcaster's, uh, items will not be removed. Oh, let's do the sneaky activation for the next 10 seconds. We can activate all the items we want, and we do not use them up. I'll take that. That's not too shabby. Thank you very, thank you very kindly. Oh, I gotta upgrade our income, man. There's so many different things to keep track of. I, I lost track of something as important as the money, money, money. That's not good. Uh, let's go and get a few more fencers out here. Luckily, oh, we gotta get some healers. What am I doing? I need to provide the support! Oh, I am the worst general of all time. I'm just letting these folks die. Although, to be fair, they're doing a pretty good job at causing a lot of death on the other side of things. Okay, uh, what is this? What is this? Uh, this is not going too well. We need to get some more support out there. Uh, I'm gonna wait to get much more. I'm gonna wait to use one of these abilities here until we got a lot more people up on the front lines. And there you go. Let's do some invulnerability! And now for the next eight seconds, we'll be able to stay invulnerable. Let's freaking go. The big bad boss is dead. It dropped a little bit of loot. The ring of elegance. I will take that. And then I'm also going to go ahead and let's increase our recruit limit. And let's just start freaking sending these folks out left and right. And I got to get some more clerics up. I literally at the beginning of this stage, I was like, yeah, I like to have a lot of clerics to heal. And then I just let our folks kind of go in there uh, absolutely blind. Okay, you know what? For the next 15 seconds, enemies do less damage. Let's do that. That'll let us kind of, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, they do 75% less damage for 15 seconds. That is good. That allows a great opportunity to go ahead and chip away at them rather effectively. I'll go ahead and take that to the bank. Let's get another fencer up in here too because the melee units, I like the melee units. They're kind of like, uh, whatchamacallit. I mean, they pretty much end up being the front lines. They end up absorbing so much damage and all that. So it's really good to have them and beautiful. Let's send out the catapult. And we'll see how this goes. And then let's try to... I think at this point, I'm going to try to hold off. I'm going to try to upgrade our income. And I want to try and get a spike to catapult out on the field. Because that thing seems like it's going to be awesome. Uh, heal 80... Okay, let's activate a random favor. What will that do? The randomize. I'm feeling lucky. Oh, the arcane bolt. Okay, that's going to be good for some of our conjurers. Smoke asters cause additional explosions for 25. Okay, that thing just walked away before I could finish reading. That's cool. I wasn't in the middle of reading that. Let's upgrade our economy. I will definitely go ahead and take that. And actually, now that we have reached the towers, dude, we might even be able to defeat these guys before we get the spiked catapult and roll it out because we are doing pretty good again, just having so many clerics. We only have two, so I, I guess we could have some more. I, I don't know. I could definitely foresee this attack failing. They're definitely ch chipping away at us a little bit here, but we're also chipping away at their health as well. Okay, we got a new favor over here, and uh, they are going to be summoning another wave here in just a little bit. I'm going to let these troops, as bad as it sounds, I'm going to let some of them kind of perish because I want to see if I can roll out that spikes catapult, and uh, yeah, let's freaking do it. Although, I'm not going to lie. I will, okay, we'll let the towers live at about 300 health. Just be, this is a calculated defeat. Get the heck out of there, catapult. I like that. Big brain plays. The catapult knows what's best for him. He's like, yeah, I'm going to get the heck out of here. I'm going to get a spiked catapult. Roll that thing out. And then let's get some freaking melee units out here too. And oh, yes, baby. Do the damage. 
And uh, why don't we go and uh, let's do the Mighty Arrow Barrage. That'll do a ton of uh, just, you know, rain death upon our enemies with some fire arrows. Love to see that. Lots of death. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get some clerics out there. Oh, my God. Look at that catapult. It's like a battering ram. It's just stabbing people. Love to see it. Uh, let's go and activate this firestorm, too. Why not? Make it rain down from above. And uh, we are back on track, baby. That was a bit unnecessary. A little bit extra, that firestorm was. But you know what? Oh, my God. I love this catapult. This thing is incredible. I could follow this thing around forever. Uh, uh, we, need another, we need another 40 seconds so we can get our guardian back out there. Let's go and get some sharpshooters out there. Some conjurers, uh, more clerics. Let's raise that recruit limit over there with that upgrade. Let's raise it again. And let's continue just deploy. Oh my god, look at it go. This catapult is incredible. I can see why it's the most expensive artillery that they have. Uh, it's kind of awesome. And uh, let's... Uh, beautiful. Battleborn. Boom! That releases our guardian from cooldown. And we can summon it right away. Let's freaking go. I will take that to the bank. Uh, I'll, I'll summon up. Oh my god, look at it go. Uh, I'll continue upgrading our... What should I call? Cap on units here. And this time around, we've come back in greater numbers. And I'm feeling pretty confident. We are not going to lose our little push this time especially because they only have 300 health so they are definitely dead uh let's increase the gold rate by 50 percent for 15 seconds this battle probably won't even last another 15 seconds i tell you what oh my god it's flying freaky oh my god what is going on there's so much happening oh it's the final stand for the enemy it's summoning units left and right but it will not be enough to hold back the epic strength of the star snipe army that just upgraded to level 5 economy 2 we are a prosperous nation and oh dude it, 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 come on man oh there you go we're starting to do damage to the towers gg no re you have perished at the hands of the wild star snipe only four stars bro get the heck out of here what are you talking about only four stars excuse me that's rude I guess the kill ratio could be part of it. You know, we let a little too many of our units die. That was on purpose. Though. I wanted, you know, I wanted the enemy to feel good about itself, get it lulled it into a false sense of security. Then watch ya! Death catapult comes out of nowhere and just destroys them. And with that, we got some more guardian tokens and some more unit tokens coming our way and uh, some achievements too. They get us some gems. I will take that to the bank and then let's see what upgrades we can get. Uh, increase the damage of our towers by 10%. Begin battle with one random uh, rank one unit automatically. Sure, why not? And then increase the duration of potion effects by 15%. Oh, let's up begin with the freebie. Why not? And then we got some more points over here on the guardian side of things. Like I was saying, we can actually go ahead and upgrade some of these. I will go with the focused assault, which will make it rain death upon our enemies. And then uh, we also got some unit points here. Why don't we go up? I like the fencers, man. I really like the fencers to be a strong melee unit, tanky warrior type fella. And uh, with that, our conquest will continue. But... That will continue another time because with that said, with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is going to go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of Guardians of High Law, the new tug of war tactics and army spawning game that is getting ready for launch on September 29th over on Steam. Make sure to go to the link at the very tip the top of the description to check it out and wish list it as well. And a huge thank you again uh, to the Guardians of High Lore for sponsoring the video and supporting the channel. But with that said, with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is going to go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of Guardians of High. Hello, thank you guys for holding for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.